Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Small Step Academy, and today we are going to discuss that how saving affect growth. And in the previous lesson, I told you about the steady state level of capital stock per worker. And in this in this class, we are going to study how savings affects your growth. So, as you all know, that solo mo model shows that saving rate is an important factor that determines steady state of capital stock. Okay. So, if the saving rate is high, what will happen? Then economy will have large capital stock and high level of output per worker at steady state. Okay. Therefore, high level of output per worker at a steady state. What will happen if saving rate is high? You know that uh, saving is is equal to investment. So if saving will increase, investment will al also increase. And due to increase in investment, your capital will be increased. Okay, because you know that investment was one of the factor which increases your capital stock. Okay, so this was the reason you can see the you can see the direct relation from this equation also. Okay, and if the saving uh, saving rate is low. Similarly, your investment is low and capital stock will decrease. Okay, you know the basic now. Okay, so but we have to see whether it is a real growth effect or it is just a temporary or level growth. What is level growth now? Level growth is like this that it grows for sometimes again it become same for continuous years. Okay, so this diagram you can remember for the level growth i will be telling you the definition also okay so let's come on to the graph because graph tells us more thing than anyone and than anyone can could okay so this is your delta k depreciation right this is your cap stock per worker here you know three things will come what are the things you have to write full that is output per worker depreciation per worker and investment per worker okay and this is your production function y is equal to f small k okay and let's say this is your consumption function which is i is equal to s1 y okay i1 okay this is your first consumption function I have uh, put it as I1 because I want to change saving rate now. So your consumption function will also change. Okay. So let's say that your uh, saving rate has increased. So what will happen when saving rate increase? You know that investment will increase. But first we mark on the steady state level of capital at I1. So you know everyone knows that this is your K star steady state level of capital. And this is your y star accordingly okay so this was before so now your s has increased okay so s1 so it has s your s has increased so what will happen this curve will shift upward right so this will be i2 is equal to s2y and you can see here your steady your steady state level of capital has increased and it has come to this level K double star let's say it double star and similarly corresponding to this your y star will be this one y double star okay so you can see your output per worker and output per worker has also increased and investment has also increased right due to increase in saving rate okay this we know but but will it be a level effect or growth effect so now we have to see this whether it is a growth effect or level effect. So in solo model higher saving rate lead to faster growth right but but it is only temporary this is the important thing. It is only temporary because once economy attain new steady state growth will eventually stop. It will come to here. And then again your growth stop because here is again this to long run equilibrium. Okay. So however with higher saving rate 
level of output per worker and level of capital stock per worker will be higher it will be higher but there won't be a growth effect but it will be a level effect and what is your level effect which is just temporary that after that it, it stops and what is your growth effect if i tell you simple in simple terms which is growing and growing and growing continuously this is your growing growth effect and this is your level effect so what does it telling now that the change in saving rate will only increase in saving rate will lead to growth but it won't be sustained it will be only temporary growth only so if i want to tell you with the example so i can consider y is equal to let y is equal to delta k okay so let us assume that or i'll show you the table only wait so this is the table right i have just uh, shown you the table only because it will take so much time to write down all this so we have assumed that y is equal to delta k right and we have write down all the component k y s s and delta are assumed to be of same which we uh, assumed in the previous example point 3 and point 1 okay and here this is the consumption function this is your total depreciation and this is change in capital so first we have taken that k is equal to 9 right at k is equal to 9 if you write it k here you will get y 3 and s and delta is given point 3 and point 1 similarly similarly your i is equal to sy and what is a, you know s and y you can directly multiply and write it will be 0.9 delta is given and k is given so you can also multiply this and you will get this okay this is the time period one so we get to the time period two now okay so time period two we haven't changed the saving rate so it will be same accordingly as you can and you can see that delta k is zero so we know that this is a steady state so now what happens in uh, time period three government introduced some policy to increase the saving rate so when you have increased the saving rate let's see what it affects now so now saving rate has increased from 0.3 to 0.4 in time period three due to some government intervention okay so when it uh, reaches to 0.4 so what happened let's see delta remains same but now your investment investment will increase what will be your investment now new s is 0.4 0.4 into 9 is 1.4 earlier it was 0.9 okay delta into k will be same and now you can see the change what is the change here if you see the change here the change is of 0.03 right similarly we will this change will reflect in the next time period and you know the change in capital k will be added into small k which so next uh, next uh, time period k will start with 9.3 and same procedure will follow on and there will be a <coughs> change again of 0.2896 it will be added to the next period and you will calculate all this value and but where from where will it go till when it will go it will this process will go on this process it is basically this process will go on k k star to k double star where it will reach to 16 how do we know it will come 16 because you know that your function is y is equal to delta k right and to calculate the steady state level of capital you know the function is s upon s upon delta is equal to k upon y here y is this this is your k star okay and s what is what is your new s 0.4 this is your 0.1 if you calculate this this will come as okay so if you solve this you will get your k value as 16 so that's why until it reaches 16 it will go on till this but again after reaching 16 it will stop this implies that there will be only level effect there won't be any growth effect so thank you guys this was all for today's lecture in the next lecture we will see the golden state level of capital okay so thank you for watching guys give this video a big thumbs up or thumbs down whatever it is so that we can improve more okay so thank you for watching bye